Good morning. The snow is still here, but at least there's some sun. I brought some seeds with me to feed the chickadees and was rewarded with a couple of visitors. I loved how the sun shone through their feathers. The sun was bright and lit up the snow, making it look like soft cotton batting. The skinny little pine tree was more snow than needles. We walked out to my favorite lookout point. The creek is solidly frozen again and quiet. The dying tree is still there, with more bark missing. Snow blanketed the branches in long strips of white. As I looked at the tree, a couple of chickadees started to fly around the branches. One started to shiver its wings like a fledgling. This is the courtship behavior of the chickadees, and is usually done by the female to entice the male to give her food. I wonder if they'll make a nest nearby. Chickadees nest in cavities, and sometimes they'll use a natural cavity, or one abandoned by woodpeckers, but sometimes they'll make their own cavity. This work is done by the female, but the male will continue to bring her food until the cavity is ready, which takes about four weeks. Once again, I am impressed by these tiny little birds. We continued on and towards the other area of the creek valley. This staircase gets so full of ice and snow that it becomes treacherous during the spring. I have fallen once or twice, and before I got snow cleats, I would totter from tree trunk to tree trunk and pretend I'm a monkey swinging in the trees, but with far less grace. I set out some more bird seed on a tree stump, and I paused to watch a chickadee dine on a few. I love how he calls while he eats, and still keeps an eye out for danger between bites. Sometimes when I'm walking in the forest, I get a bit of a feeling that something is out there. We went to the other lookout point. Some of you may recognize this spot from my other videos. 
It often has chickadees around, as people feed them here too. After a few moments of admiring the view, I spotted a deer walking out onto the creek. And as I continued to watch, a second, and then a third one appeared. Three? Then a fourth. Five? Oh and a fifth. <gasps> I was surprised to see so many deer in one area, but it's not too unusual, as deer often gather together in herds during the winter. As we continued to watch, it seemed like one eventually decided it didn't like that area and crossed back to the other side. With that, we decided to head back home. I managed to catch a brief glimpse of a flock of waxwings flying overhead. These birds can be seen flying around Edmonton in the winter, and they descend to eat any remaining fruit on the various trees. Chickadees are out. Heard woodpeckers, pileated woodpeckers. Saw a white bread, white breasted nut hatch. <laughs> I can get my lips to work. Red breasted nut hatch. Uh, a couple of ravens. So yeah, it's been a pretty good, good morning walk. As always, thanks for watching. I'd like to thank everyone who continues to watch and look forward to all the great comments. Have a great day.